on this episode, we will assemble the bottom end. We will double check everything from crank to pistons. So let's go. We flip the block and we install the main bearings. Let's put the lock there. All right. Let's get the main bearings. Yeah. OEM goodness. All right. Put the main bearings. Oh, wait. We wipe every. Double check. There's a, Sometimes there's a bit of oil. So, you know, just make sure the behind the main bearing, it's all dry. Because if not, it will throw away or throw off your bearing clearances. So let's speed it up. I don't know about you guys, but this is half the fun. I kind of enjoy ass assembling engines this way. That's the last bearing, number five. Then we get the crank. You gotta be careful not to hit anything, score or scratch the main journals, you know. Okay, careful. drop it in all right another thing i'm gonna tell you guys is that we've checked this before but since we're on the final assembly it won't hurt to double check the plastic gauge and that's something normal that we do here we double check everything and most of the time we even triple check it so instead of taking shortcuts you know where your hard-earned money goes now on to the main caps we're gonna skip the number three main cap because we're gonna put plastic gauge just to double check everything, you know? All right, so let's speed it up. And always have your main bolts clean and ready, soaked in oil. All right, there. Now we're gonna put the main bolts onto all of the mains except the number three because we gotta put the plastic gauge first. There you go. All right. Now let's go fast. And as you notice on our page, our labor for a regular engine or a race engine is the same because we don't think skipping attention to detail is allowed or okay on regular engines. They're all the same, you know? They're all equally important to your hard earned money. Now we hand tight all but the number three main yeah let's go all right wait okay let's try it again okay now it's snug good all right now we carefully put the plastic gauge on the number three main journal just careful it doesn't fall off or gets blown by by the air, you know. It's sticking to my hand or my finger. Oh, it needs both my hands. All right, there. Now we put the number three main cap. Let's go. All right. And of course, hand tight once it's installed. The mains are doweled, so you know when it fits, it's gonna be right the, exactly on the same place or where it's supposed to be so it's gonna be good here we go all right it's gonna be snug because of the dowel all right now on to the main bolts it's soaking in oil and it's already clean you gotta make sure you know all right there you go yeah, now on to hand tightening it. All right, now first step is 22 feet pounds. And on the, the second step is 56 pounds, 56 feet pounds, sorry. All right, then we loosen it 
which is the check. All right, you got it off now, but wait, you can't really see it from the bearing. So let's go to the main journals. Now let's see closer. Let's see. <clears throat> wait. Can you see it? It's point zero zero one five. Our goal, actually, or what it's supposed to be. And wait, hold on. Can't really zoom in. There. Point zero zero one five. Oh yeah. Yeah. Now let's reassemble. All right. Here we go. Now we turn the block so that we can wipe the bores. We make sure it's really clean before we install the pistons, you know? All right, there. Now we use the ever-reliable WD-40. Just spray a bit on both sides so that when you wipe it, you get to remove any dirt or flash rust, you know? And we like to use a paper towel or shop towel because it's thick enough and it doesn't leave, leave any lint. And we speed it up so we get done with it real quick. All right. And of course, our favorite, the Torco assembly lube. Because this engine will get shipped all the way to Palawan, so we know it's not gonna run right the next day. So it has to have assembly lube just for safety of the bearings upon startup. All right, it's really thick, so it takes a while for you to get to lubricate every single journal. But yep, now we're ready for the pistons. Now let's go to the workbench and check on the piston rings. All right now, now we get a piece of paper just for the platform. You know, we just got used to having a sup in just to be clean you know and a reliable piston ring compressor now we get piston number one disassemble the rod cap so it's ready and now we lubricate the piston rings on a on a previous video we talked about this lubrication or this lubricant that we mixed so just check on that there can never be too much lubrication for the piston rings because upon startup it has no splash or no oil splash so it's going to rely on the lubrication before it gets to scratch or gets scuff marks and then you know it'll never run properly you get the clocking good and we will have a link in the description talking about piston rings All right now we fit it snug we tighten it completely snug and once the ring compressor is aligned with the deck on the block it will still have a, a few more clicks or at least one so that you're sure that it's really really compressed you know All right and we're getting there just a little bit more just a little bit more and then we can head to the block all right let's go all right here we are now installing the piston onto the block this is piston number one we tap it all around the ring compressor just to make sure it's flat or aligned to the deck this way there's you minimize piston ring damage upon installation you have one more click you can hear it uh, there and once that's done tight it's just, it just takes a little tap and it's in there that was easy, right? All right, now we turn the block for the rod caps. We'll take off the lock first, All right? Be careful. Okay, and then let go of the hammer. 
right there. We have to put the lock back in and then the rod cap. Oh yeah, and assembly lube on the journals once again so that it's well lubricated. You can never have too much assembly lube when you're assembling an engine. All right, there you go. All right, yeah. Now here we are on the rod cap number one. Okay, just make sure the tangs are on the correct position or alignment, you know? We hand tight the rod bolts before we stretch it. We will show you later that we stretch the bolts as suggested by ERP. And we speed it up now so that we can go to piston number two. Here we are compressing it, preparing it, all right. Now onto the block. Yeah, so quick. Now the rod cap. And tight and then initial torque now it's piston number three lubricate ring compressor tap tap let's go clear the rod cap initially we torque it to 26 or 28 feet pounds but we double check with the stretch right last piston okay we're gonna do this now it's gonna be finished or at least all of the four pistons now here the stretch gauge we set it to zero and after torquing it to 28 feet pounds we got the necessary stretch it's interesting that you can actually hear the piston ring pass through the bore because everything is new so this is gonna run really really good hope you enjoy this because we're not even halfway through we still gotta finish the oil pan the oil scraper and the cylinder head so now let us look at the awesome one up piston dome oh yeah it's gonna get more and more interesting as we keep sharing details about this build including cam degreeing you can click here for more and you know you gotta subscribe and hit the bell this way you're notified whenever we have the next episode or a new tech series